Dr. Teddy here, and for our second installment of exercises I don't love, we're gonna pick on unstable surface training. Now in the world of fitness, there's a prevailing myth that harder is better. If you walk into any big gym, you'll see people doing the silliest exercises all in the name of making it more difficult. Anytime you start to combine challenges or you turn one exercise into multiple, something has to give. And if you stand on an unstable surface while you're squatting, lunging or deadlifting or doing any other power producing muscle coordination requiring strength movement, your muscles will not be able to contract as strongly. They will activate as they try to stabilize and react to those small perturbations of movement, but they won't be able to generate the same amount of force. The analogy coaches use all the time is shooting a cannon out of a canoe. If you don't have a stable base to begin with, your strength expression for any given movement is going to be limited. Sure, goblet squatting on a ball can be challenging, but your legs would be working a lot harder and more efficiently if you were squatting four times that weight, standing on the ground in stable shoes. Furthermore, in this scenario, your adaptations to the demand and every single measurable, including muscle strength, muscle size, and growth would be better if you chose to practice regular squats with four times the weight rather than those goblet squats. Now there are many scenarios where unstable surface training has merit. If your goal is to improve balance, proprioception, muscle coordination, then standing on one foot or using an unstable surface can be helpful. Remember, just because an exercise is harder does not mean that it's better. If you guys found this video helpful or you have any other topics you wanna to see us cover this year, let us know in the comments below and thanks for watching.